vitamins and minerals are very important in keeping our bodies healthy and strong. In this video, we will talk about vitamins and minerals as well as their sources and deficiencies. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Gurong Pinoy. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please check the links in the video description. Let us start with our topic. There are two groups of vitamins, fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins include vitamins A, D, E and K, while water-soluble vitamins include vitamins B complex and C. Let us start with the fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamin A is called retinol because it produces the pigments in the retina of the eye. It promotes good eyesight and can be taken from sources like orange and yellow vegetables and fruits. Its deficiency is called xerophthalmia or night blindness. Vitamin D is called sunshine vitamin because it is produced in our skin in response to sunlight. Our body produces vitamin D naturally when it is directly exposed to sunlight. And is important in calcium absorption. Its deficiency is called rickets. The next fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin E, which is also known as dopoferol. It is found in many foods including vegetable oils, cereals, meat, poultry, eggs, fruits, vegetables, and wheat germ oil. Vitamin E deficiency can lead to infertility. The last fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin K. It is called phytonodione and is used to prevent bleeding in people with blood clotting problems. Its deficiency can result to hemorrhage. We proceed to water-soluble vitamins. Vitamin B complex helps promote cell health and can be taken from meat, seafood, poultry, eggs, dairy products, legumes and leafy greens. Their deficiency can lead to beriberi. Vitamin C promotes immunity. Many types of citrus fruits are good sources of this vitamin. Its deficiency can lead to scurvy. Some very important minerals in the body include iron, an essential element for blood production. Its deficiency can cause anemia. Meanwhile, the body needs iodine to make thyroid hormones. When the body lacks a good supply of iodine, a person can have goiter. Fluorine is very important in keeping our teeth strong and calcium makes the bones strong. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.